For today's Cyber CEO episode. What I like the most about May is she is a very driven, anxious to learn. So she's very self-motivated and that's kind of my personality too. And I just really appreciate that about her. When I do have a transaction, I will ask her to go ahead and get it started so I can, you know, get all the information in there. And then it's just a lot easier for me to go and talk to my client instead of having to worry about the paperwork and getting it entered and, and all that stuff. And, you know, if I have certain things that's going on with it, then she can go in there and, and make some changes for me. She's able to input my listing information into the MLS. And then if I need pictures uploaded or if I need changes made, she's just very efficient at learning the process. I feel like that she's been in my business for a while because she just has done such a good job. Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. Another awesome day here at Cyberbacker. My name is Jello. We're back with another episode of Cyber CEO. And of course, we have a very special guest on the show. Sherry, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Doing wonderful. Thank you very much for asking. And of course, for dropping by. I know you have a lot of things to do. Really appreciate you being here. Now, start things off to let you know we have a lot of listeners who are business owners just like yourself. So can you introduce yourself to our audience? Maybe we can start with what's your role in the business, Sherry? I am a real estate transition agent. I uh, do say that because I help people that are buying and selling, but most of all, I try to help uh, anyone that's in a situation where they have to move if there's a significant uh, thing that's happened in their lives. Um, I help them through that transition. Okay. So how long have you been doing real estate then? Uh, 20 years. Yeah. Congratulations. 20 years in your business, a lot of experience. But uh, how about working with someone virtual, just like your cyber backer? Is this your first time to do it? Uh, it's my first time working with cyber backer, but I have in the past had a virtual assistant uh, many years ago. It wasn't a bad experience. It wasn't the greatest experience either. And it took me a long time to, to decide to do it again. Okay. So basically, um, what made you, let's say, stop working with someone who's virtual there then? Um, at that time, um, it was a totally different setup and she wasn't ex exactly trained as a real estate VA. Um, it, this was really early on whenever that thing became popular. Mm -hmm. And um, I just didn't, the the cost of it and the, the service that I was getting, I didn't feel like was inclusive enough um, for, for what I needed. So I just decided to stop that. And then uh, changed some things in my business and didn't really require VA at that point. Um, I changed uh, real estate companies. And in 2019, I came to, to Keller Williams and um, just the uh, command CRM itself was a game changer mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. So uh, how were you introduced to Cyberbacker? How did Cyberbacker get into the picture? Uh, Cyberbacker specifically, uh, when I, I went to a mastermind in our region, this probably been a couple of years ago, and uh, I kind of did a little interview with them, thought I'd try it out and um, decided not to because we had a in-house transition manager, mm -hmm. transaction manager. And I just kind of thought, well, I really probably could just get by with her. Um, I wasn't at that point um, as focused on my um, contact management system and getting it cleaned mm -hmm. up as, as I became. But um when I did decide to uh, use Cyberbacker, I, I had a different uh, thought in mind of what I w wanted to accomplish with one. And uh, so I thought I'd give it a try. And how long have you been working with your Cyberbacker then, basically? It's, it, yeah, it's maybe six months. I don't, it's not been very long. Um, but I feel like that she's been, um, you know, in my business for a while because she just has done such a good job. Now, talk. Let's talk more about your cyber backer. Then, um, you went through our hiring process before you got to work with her. Um, talk to me about that experience. How did it all go? Um, interviews on Zoom. Yeah, yeah. Um, they did. They did a really good job in, in listening to what I what I wanted. Uh, 
in a cyberbacker and they they you know presented me with several uh, people to you know they did a little video so i was able to mm-hmm. look at their their resume before i actually spoke to them in person and then i think i picked out uh the ones that i wanted to actually interview and uh so i actually had kind of already decided uh to choose may before I even interviewed her just because uh, she presented herself the way that, you know, as the the uh, assistant that I was looking for. And then when I actually did interview her in person, I was I was already so. But I went ahead and talked to the other uh, the other cyberbacker candidates because, you know, they they are very excited about what they're doing and um, very eager. And, I you know, I'm glad that I gave them the opportunity, but May just really stood out really stood out from the pack. Now, mm-hmm. what were the things that you wanted or needed help with? And that's why you partnered with me. Uh, my main, main thing was, is I had, had oh, gosh, I don't know how many, probably close to 3,000 mm-hmm. um, wow. contacts in my, in my uh, CRM, you know, being in business for 20 years, you can imagine. I probably had more than that. It was just, it mm-hmm. was a mess. And I needed to get the contacts in my cell phone out into the CRM. And it, it's just not an easy thing, task to do. It's time consuming yeah. and it's not what I want to spend my time doing. So um, <clears throat> that was the first thing that I was looking for was somebody to help me clean that up. Mm-hmm. And um and so, you know, we have a 30, 60, 90 day, which she's far past that now and, and did accomplish everything that I had in her, you know, as far as goals set for her uh, in a short period of time. But the main thing was getting my, my um, contacts in there and, you know, getting the right phone numbers and uh, setting them up on the smart plans and doing those kind of things. But she she's accomplished that already. All right. So basically the database then is what you needed help with way mm-hmm. back when you started with her. How about yeah. now? What other tasks do you have her do for you in the business then? Um, she actually uh, does my newsletter, my monthly newsletter, which was mm-hmm. something that I hadn't even uh, thought about asking her to do at that point. Um, and she just went ahead and, and learned how to do it. And she's doing a phenomenal job. So I'm getting a, um, I'm getting a newsletter out in the email. Uh, every month now, which I was just doing it here, here and there. Um, and she also uh, goes through and, and makes sure that my uh, email is cleaned up. That was another cool. project that I really needed done. I've got three separate emails, two of them that are actually my business emails, and then another one that's kind of an overflow, but for other things. But I every now and then, I would have things in that email that I needed to mm. to make sure that was, you know, was capturing and staying, you know, in contact with these people following up. And so she uh, now goes, you know, has has organized my emails into files and um, and then she goes through and cleans those up too for me on a regular basis. All right. So basically she's almost everywhere then database and your marketing mm-hmm. emails. Now your pr- emails as well for the business is almost everywhere. Now um yeah. I know we've only been working with her for a few months, but I mean, mm-hmm. I'm excited to know what's your growth plan for your cyberbacker. What are some of the new things that you got planned for her to do? Let's say in the next few months from today. Um, well, one of the things that I'm trying to to get uh, her, and and she's already doing a lot of it, is not necessarily trans transaction management as much as just making sure that um, that I'm following up with leads and putting them in in the right slots and you know because we in command we have different categories we can move them to um that way they're not falling through the cracks as much um but when i do have a transaction uh sometimes i will ask her to go ahead and you know get it started so i can you know get all the information in there and then it's just a lot easier for me um to go and talk to my client instead of Uh, uh, you know having to worry about the paperwork and getting it entered and and all that stuff and uh then if you know if i have certain things that's going on with it then she can go in there and and make some changes for me she can she's also able to input uh, my listing information into the mls to get that kind of started and if i need pictures uploaded or if i need changes made she's just very um very efficient at learning the process so basically she supports in transactions listings whenever yeah. you need the help then if there's yeah, an she, overflow she pretty like much yeah she pretty much can do about anything that i need her to do now um, what i like to know is um uh, seems like you've already have 
this successful partnership with May, your cyber backer. Mm-hmm. Now, just wanted to know communication. And I know in any kind of partnership and relationship, that is very important. Now, how important is it in a virtual partnership then? Well, for me, um, it was extremely important that I did not have a, a communication or a language barrier because um, I am from Eastern Kentucky. So I have a very you know, Southern draw. It's not as bad as it was, but it's still there. And um, my, you know, I just want to be able to dialogue with, with my cyber backer without having to explain what, what I mean when I say things. And mm-hmm. what I really like about May is that she, she doesn't have that problem. Even if it's like um, an email or a text message that I send to her, she, she just picks up what, you know, what I mean. She's learned very easily uh, how I phrase things and some, you know, what I am trying to get across to her. And if she doesn't understand, she very politely asks me, you know, to explain, which I haven't found that I have, that I need to do that very often. There we go. So really very, very important to communication between the both, because again, it's, they're already working with the person who's thousands of miles away. If you don't communicate, exactly. then nothing's going to happen. Uh-huh. Right. Right. Yeah. Now, one last question for you, Sharon. For sure, once we have this online, May is going to be able to watch and listen to this. So we'd like to know, what do you like most about May? What's the first thing that comes to mind when we talk about your cyberbacker? Uh, what I like the most about May is is she is uh, very driven. I mean, she, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that she's uh, very uh, anxious to learn and to do new things. She'll, she's willing to try. Um, so she's very self-motivated and that's kind of my personality too. And, um, and I just really appreciate that about her. Now we are very, very excited to see, of course, the continued success of your partnership with May all throughout the year. Of course, Cherry, thank you very much for dropping by. I had fun talking to you. I hope we can get you back here after a few months, check up on you in May again. Is that okay? Absolutely. Yes. Perfect. Thank yeah, you. Sherry, you have a great day, all right? Take care. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to our daily dose of Cyber CEO. Stay tuned to know more about how Cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age. You can visit our website, www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.